Hi everyone, I'm Marcel, back with The Pulse. Today I want to double back to the great David Sinclair and his efforts to make NMN an exclusive drug. Today I'm going to tip my cap to him. Today I'm going to say, you know what? Your strategy, your moves with the FDA, pretty clever. There's been a lot of things that they've done really well, even though... NMN continues to sell, even though it's available, even though we're taking it and it's available to us two years after their efforts began. But their efforts haven't been a complete failure. As a matter of fact, they've had a lot of success. And I want to talk about some of that strategy and just what I've witnessed by going to Washington, by meeting with executives, by having insiders on Team NMN provide me information. Now, first of all, NMN sales are way up. 2023, by my estimate, from talking to multiple companies, are up somewhere around 40-50%. That sounds huge. And it is, by any measure, a big growth pattern. However, NMN was triple digits the years prior. It's easy to grow when no one knows about you. You know, you, you sell 10 times what you're selling. It's very easy in a year's time. So that was going on early with NMN. But what happened was, how do people find out about NMN? I want to talk about the word of mouth pipeline. And David Sinclair maybe, you know, didn't mean to do this necessarily. Couldn't help himself. Went on Joe Rogan, talked about NMN. And this created a word of mouth pipeline. And that's how I found out about NMN to begin with about four years ago, started taking it about three years ago. And then I became a part of this pipeline. Uh, a little bit about my own approach to things. Uh, I've found out about myself over the years that I'm good at telling stories. I'm a songwriter, I'm a storyteller, and it's what I do, I tell the story. When I was in the audio industry, I found an inventor who was inventing master clocks for audio devices. He had a very interesting story. So for 14 years, there are videos up of me talking about clocking and converting in the audio world, and I would just tell the story. And it was always interesting when I would hear parts of my story told back to me like a year later or six months later at some trade show. So what I've been doing in my role in this word of mouth pipeline has been to tell these stories. I've never seen a story. I've never witnessed a story in my life like NMN. This is crazy. And it's in real time. And yes, it continues to be a self-providing uh, content fuel for this uh, channel and my efforts. I've literally never seen anything like it. And the executives were telling me, one executive, and I'll tell you who it is, because he said as much, he made a statement on camera when I talked to him, Jim Emmy at Now Foods. He said, this is a must-win situation. They weren't even selling NMN. They still aren't. But they had researched it. They have, by all accounts, the largest science team in the supplement industry. They have 75 scientists on their team. And they were developing, they were investigating and researching NMN. And they were really impressed with what they were seeing. So when the FDA stopped it, they were just about to start introducing and selling it. So you can imagine what someone like Now Foods could have done for NMN, where we'd be right now. And that's where David Sinclair has been successful at breaking this pipeline together with FDA and legal scripts, which is the entity where NMN is blacklisted, essentially. Like it might as well be turpentine as far as the banks are concerned, as far as uh, major outlets are concerned. And that's what got it off the shelves at Walmart and Amazon, come to find out. Now, the executives have also been telling me they've never seen anything like NMN. And this is from interacting with their customers who buy it and rebuy it over and over. They've never seen anything like it. Matter of fact, the first team NMN Zoom call I was on, Dan Fabricant, bless his heart, at Natural Products Association said, Guys, 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 I get it. This one, this one really works. <laughs> I know NMN is one of these things that really works. It reminds me of NAC. You know, this is, this is a similar fight, and we're going to go about it the same way. So it really works. Take it from the people close to this. Why would they be fighting this? And why would the FDA be making major moves, albeit as quietly as they can? Their moves are having major impact. This legal scripts thing was massive because they got the major stores to remove it. So they take out the Amazon, they take out the Walmarts. Then they got the social media to stop allowing the advertising. So this word of mouth pipeline, they also accomplished more, but let me go back to the pipeline for a moment so you can understand this. The pipeline was, I get curious about longevity or anti-aging. I hear something about it, something's going on, people talking about it, but I don't really have the whole picture, so I Google it. 
So what comes up first, up until last year, was a lot of NMN stories would come up first, and they would be mention of a Harvard professor. So you'd click on it, but they were sponsored ads. And you'd go to a supplement company, and there you'd see David Seclera, a picture, usually a quote, and he'd talk about it. So what do you do then? Well, is this guy for real? Let me Google David Sinclair. A lot of people did this. I know it because I saw it myself through this channel. They'd Google him and they'd find, you know, all kinds of information about NMN. And he'd speak weekly, if not weekly, monthly. He's speaking about NMN. And then you'd go to channels like Vince's, My NMN Experiment, and others, and you'd find out more. Eventually this channel, but this was even before, this predates even The Pulse, which is going on three years. So this has been, this pipeline was built for a long time. And what people would do is sometimes they'd order at that point or they'd wait for the price to go down. Keep in mind, the price was going down year over year on NMN. Thanks to Do Not Age, right? Because Do Not Age was the first major company to start reducing price on NMN. They were buying big orders of it. And by the way, you can still get it. They just lowered the price by 10% for the powder, which is the form I take. And yes, use my code, the pulse. Trust me. I take Do Not Age because I had it tested myself and I know it's purity level. And to their credit, they maintain the pricing even through this two-year battle with FDA and they aggressively doubled down on their position on NMN. They ordered more of it. They kept FF Farm going. They really fought for NMN behind the scenes. So uh, big shout out. To do not age. And I've got over 10,000 people that have ordered NMN and continue to order NMN through do not age. So the pipeline continues. However, it's been dismantled many, many places. But if you stop and think about had they not dismantled all this, imagine a reality where there's no Metro Biotech. David Sinclair just keeps beating the drum. He doesn't write a letter saying I'm not making any money on any D boosters. He just keeps beating the drum, going on the Joe Rogans of the world. He would be even more famous now than he is. He would. He was on a skyrocket trajectory towards fame. And I think he would have eventually worked out the fortune part without having to make NMN an exclusive drug, which is still a battle I think he's going to lose. NMN would be very mainstream. Think about it. It was growing like crazy, triple-digit growth. And then you had billion-dollar supplement companies about to join the party. The cost would be probably 20 30% of what it is now. People complaining about the cost of NMN, you can blame David Sinclair. He's not lowered the price. His actions haven't lowered the price of NMN. It's kept it up there high. And for most people, it's still out of reach, unfortunately. How did he break down this pipeline? The first thing he did is he stopped talking about NMN, started talking about his version of NMN. And he even said a few times that his is better at boosting NAD levels, which he's backed off of probably, I'm guessing, for legal reasons. But then he also blocked the supplement companies from putting his image up. I understand that. I have no gripes for that. You know, they shouldn't be using his name and his image and his reputation for their own benefit without getting his permission. I get that. However, he did make all those statements publicly. And he did talk about personal anecdotes like his own 80-year-old father and his own results from taking a natural substance. So natural substance selling companies picked up the ball and ran with it. I understand his position on blocking them, but it is dismantling the storytelling word of mouth pipeline that was going on spreading NMN. Yes, as I mentioned, his moves to stop talking about NMN, his moves to remove himself from that information pipeline, then the FDA dives in and gets legal scripts to remove NMN from Amazon, Walmart, and social media, but also the banks. NMN is on a do not touch list for the banks. So the commerce got very tough. So what did that do? That got rid of the small players. Companies that would say, wow, this NMN stuff is really great. Some companies would buy NMN or hear the stories and start selling NMN. They were small. They needed the capacity to charge credit cards, the mercantile capacity that an Amazon allowed them. And that was taken away from them. So you got rid of the big players, you got rid of the small players. All you have left right now are the middle players. All you got left right now is, you know, a company like a Do Not Age, right? And several others that are in that similar realm, in the middle. 
big enough to have their own mercantile capabilities, but not so big that they're massive targets and you know reliant on Amazon, Walmart. And then you have my little role in this whole story. Last April, my videos, I wasn't posting as many as I do now. And I had 300,000 views in April. And my videos, I looked and I was getting views that were similar in numbers to major news organizations. That's how big this channel was getting. I'm very proud of it. I'm not, don't cry me a river. I'm not crying here, guys. I'm still happy I can get NMN and my family can get NMN and my friends can get NMN, even though this channel has become a shell of what it was before. We were on a trajectory to be in the millions of views by the end of last year. We ended up at 30,000. That's due to the shadow banning that's gone on at Google, at YouTube. Think about that when you think about what's FDA doing and how clever Sinclair has been to dismantle all this stuff. Now, we're back up to 90,000 views, 100,000 views here the last couple of months. I've posted a lot more content. But the story has gotten a lot richer and more interesting as we've gone along too. So I've just doubled down on the content. We're not getting to new viewers the way we used to. It'll be interesting to see if NMN can continue its growth in 2024. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, why haven't they just removed it completely? If they're so clever, they're, they're winning the battle. Even at 50%, that's way down. So they've taken a huge chunk out of NMN's ability to sell as a supplement. The Justice Department is the one that's going to have to lawyer up, right, to defend FDA and Metro Biotech. Like Metro Biotech, I don't think, has the money to support an expensive court battle with billion-dollar supplement companies, right? They're a, they're a pharmaceutical company, but they're very small. So a large company would have to either buy them, and they could lawyer up, or you're going to use the Justice Department, which is the moves that they've been trying to make. And the Justice Department has their hands full right now. Legal actions in the political world. I mean, these are incredibly uh, chaotic times. And I think the Justice Department is telling Kara Welch at the FDA, you want us to provide you legal assistance for what? For a supplement that is in milk? Three judges have already shot down the efforts of Chromadex to make NR an exclusive product because it's in milk. And by the way, NAD levels are highest in young children who drink a lot of milk. So maybe we should all be drinking more milk. So that's where we're at. We're at a stalemate due to legal realities, financial realities. And all I can say is, you know, I don't know where this is going. I would just say don't underestimate the power of the FDA and the power of David Sinclair. I still think we're going to win. We are winning. NMN is still available. My family can still get NMN. My viewers can still get NMN. It's still a victory. But I think we have to be vigilant. I think we have to you know, keep pressure on the FDA. I think you should write to your supplement companies and say, hey, support the legal effort at Natural Products Association. Do what you can, continue to do what you can, and I'll keep doing what I can. And you keep watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.